What is the accelerator platform from Siemens PLM? Let's talk about that next. Okay, so this week Siemens PLM or Siemens Digital Industries as they're now known, they just got renamed. Um, they announced the availability of something called the Accelerator Platform. And it uh, doesn't have an E, it just has an X at the front of it like Expedition, which is the board design uh, ECAD solution from Metro Graphics, which is now part of Siemens as well. So um, wh what's the deal? What is this thing about? Well, there's uh, several kind of layers to kind of understand about this platform. So let's talk about the lowest layer first. Um, so that lowest layer is taking all of the solutions that Siemens has been offering for a while and turning and making their capabilities available as web services. Okay, so when you talk about NX, Team Center, um, and they're expanding this effort, I expect it to go off into Expedition and Capital and Sim Center and everything that they uh, make available. So they're making those capabilities available as web services. And that's interesting just by itself because suddenly Siemens and partners can then mash up capabilities from each and kind of combine them into apps uh, that uh, can be made for specific roles. Um, it's also interesting because a web service from one application could be called within another one. So for example, you can call a team center capability up in NX. Um, and there's lots of applications for that for configuration and maybe moving it over to Sim Center and, and integration back and forth across those products. So that's really interesting uh, by itself. The second layer that's really interesting though is Mendix. So Mendix is um, a low code, this is the term they always use, a low code uh, application development platform. <clears throat> so what that means is uh, it's <clears throat> visual programming where you can kind of drag and drop different capabilities and make an application uh, yourself. And you don't have to code at all. You don't know how to uh, write software. So you can uh, actually, you can have business users actually create those applications without getting IT involved, which, you know, can remove a barrier from getting business applications out uh, and into the, uh, into the enterprise. Right. Suddenly it becomes very interesting because you can make your own stuff um, that can be used here, there and everywhere. So that's interesting. Number one, from a perspective of um, creating an app for a user. It's also interesting from a perspective of IoT. So as part of this platform, you have MindSphere, which can connect to all sorts of different uh, devices. It can uh, take data in from it can do all sorts of analysis and Mendix can be used to create um, applications for IoT stuff as well to work on that data. Um, so this is really interesting. So that's the accelerator platform. It probably has a little bit more capability here and there, but in general, that's the idea. Whole bunch of web services. You can create applications. You can do it for IoT. You can plug it into MindSphere and it's uh, kind of the go forward strat product strategy uh, for Siemens PLM. And um, what's the big deal there? So it's interesting because users can create their own stuff, business users can create their own stuff, but also it's really interesting because the same platform can be used to create IoT types of applications and actually all sorts of digital twin stuff. So not user oriented stuff, but stuff that runs autonomously. And that's um, that's pretty fascinating. I, ha I haven't really seen that uh, out in the marketplace today, kind of both uh, needs being addressed. So that's it. That's Accelerator. Take care. Talk soon.